Um, and I think this is an amazing show of solidarity in Nottingham today with the people of Hong Kong. So thank you everyone for, for coming along. The Chinese government's imposition of the national security law was designed to crush dissent and stifle political freedom. And that is exactly what is happening. Almost every leading activist in the democracy movement in Hong Kong, the Hong Kong 47 and many others, are on trial. And just on Thursday, we saw a group of 14 young people, including a 15-year-old, two 16-year-olds, and an 18-year-old, be brought to court for supporting the democracy movement. This is an attempt at criminalizing a whole generation of young people. So we must highlight and condemn the fact that lawmakers are being disqualified, the fact that activists are fleeing into exile, that protest is being criminalized, and the police brutality and state repression by the Chinese government against Hong Kongers who are protesting for democracy. So I want to say solidarity with the Hong Kong 47, with Lee Chok Yan, Carol Un, Winnie Yu, Tiffany Yun, Joshua Wong, Agnes Chow, Nathan Law, and Chow Hang Tung, and the many thousands of others protesting for freedoms and basic democratic rights. We must demand that the trade unionists and activists who have been arrested for organizing and standing in democratic primaries are released immediately and that their charges are dropped immediately. And we must call on our government to act. It's not enough to do to open routes that they have already and taken the action that they have so far. Our government must impose sanctions on businesses like HSBC who have actively and explicitly supported the national security law, the same law that has seen democracy activists being locked up and beaten by police in Hong Kong. We must welcome refugees and we must give refugees proper and full workers' rights once they get here. And we must also oppose the policing bill, which is what our Tory government is introducing in an attempt to criminalise protest in this country. For me, as a socialist, condemning the actions of the Chinese Communist Party is not controversial. Because when we see a police officer beating up a worker, when we see Muslims in concentration camps in China, and when we see millions of people denied basic democratic freedoms, the labor movement needs to know which side we're on. It's not a people's republic if the people have no power over their government. And it's not socialism if one million people are forced into slave labor concentration camps. Opposing tyranny and genocide does not mean endorsing US imperialism. I just want to finish by acknowledging that the struggle of activists in Hong Kong has not just inspired their fellow citizens, but also people all over the world. And to see such a, a movement that is young, that's vibrant, innovative, like what we've got today, a human chain around Nottingham, this is amazing. This is standing up against a regime as powerful as the Chinese government. And it's given hope to all people across the world who are facing state oppression, not just in China, but across the globe. The path to democracy might be a long and winding one, but you stand firmly on the right side of history, on the side of freedom, democracy, and human rights, against nationalism, racism, and imperialism, whatever flag that is cloaked in. So solidarity and victory to the people of Hong Kong. Thank you. Thank you, Nadia. Thank you.